It has been a minute since we did a product review here on the channel. I'm so excited to be bringing these back and to do a lot more of these and giveaways and all that stuff. So today we've got some cool stuff we're gonna be taking a look at. So here's some stuff coming up. So inside of here, we've got a bunch of different stuff. Today we're gonna be taking a look at, as you know from the title, a couple of Jawa's new phone mounts. And I love phone mounts. I use them all the time in my car. I don't use the wireless chargers because of the stuff I use it for. It makes a lot more sense. We'll talk about that in a minute. But coming up on the channel, we also have this box right here, which is actually a refrigerator for your Model Y, but it's very unique. So we're going to take a look at that soon. So make sure you subscribe and follow so you don't miss that review. And then we've got a new sleeper. This is like a self-inflating mattress that just recently came out uh, that you guys need to check out. So we're going to be reviewing that as well. We might find something fun to do with it. So these are coming up on the channel. So like I said, subscribe so you get uh, notified uh, when these videos come out. But today, let's take a look at these two phone mounts and see what kind of upgrades Jawa has done to their phone mounts because so many of you guys have purchased these and you love them. So let's see what's new with these. All right, so first let's get these unboxed. I haven't pulled these out yet. What we'll do is we'll unbox these. We'll take a look at the, you know, what there is to know about them, some facts about them. We're gonna install them in the car and then we'll kind of try them out. I'll try them out for a couple days and then the video will close out talking about just my actual thoughts on them. All right, here we go. Now, I've always been super impressed with Jawa. If you guys have watched some of their other reviews that I've done, you know that there's always something unique about their products. They're always very thought out, which is what I really appreciate. All right, let's take a look at this. So this one, let's see, this one is the, it's called the 480 degree invisible fold away car mount, universal roller mount. All right, here it is. And this is the one that is not MagSafe. So this will work with any phone that is not a MagSafe phone. And this also is not a wireless charger. There is a version that has this clamp on their website that is a charger. So you can clip onto that and it will charge wirelessly um, coming right from this right here. So here's how this works and here's how it sort of sticks to your car. On the back of your touchscreen in the center of your Tesla, you're gonna peel that off and you got this really tacky section here. You also have this locking mechanism in the back for some extra strength on the lock. But basically what this is going to do is it's gonna to stick to the back of your Tesla screen. And then this is going to fold away like this when you don't need it. And when you do need it, it's gonna come up and you can wrap it around and you can hook your phone onto it. So now the way that this is designed to work is a bit of a clamping system, but it's very unique. And the fact that what you do is you put it in here for the first time, just the first time you clamp it, you get it nice and adjusted. You actually kind of pinch on the back. You can see on the back, it's a little bit flexible. And then once the phone is mounted in there, it's very secure, okay? That's not going anywhere. This is their most secure mounting system. The MagSafe can fall off if you jerk it hard enough, but this system is gonna be very, very grippy. And the way you get it off is you just twist it off. These are rollers right here. Okay, these actually roll. So to get it in, it's just a matter of snapping it in and to take it out, you just snap it out. So it's very one-handed, which is a big deal for safety when you're driving down the road, not having to worry about trying to pay too, too much attention to clipping in your phone. I also tested this with a case from Jawa, which is their Magback case. And you can take and clip it in there as well and it works just fine. Okay, so if you have a thin case, it's fine. I also tested it with a Magback case and just the same, it clips right in. And of course, if you always have a case on it, you can just loosen it up a little bit and refit it for that case. But in terms of depth behind it, you can do pretty much any kind of case as long as it's not gonna be a wallet case or some one of those big industrial cases. So from my understanding, what's new about this model versus one of the other models you can buy on their website is two things. One, how it mounts. It's got this really great mounting system like we talked about with the double locking, the adhesive plus the lock. But on top of that, it pivots so you can spin it as well. So as you'll see when we install it in the car later, you've got an incredible amount of control, which is why they call it a 480 degree. So you can take it and adjust it all over here. You can move it up and down as well as you can slide it forward and back. And then of course you can completely hide it. Now we're gonna look at this one next, which is the 480 degree invisible fold away car mount that is MagSafe wireless charging. So this is gonna be the model, if you have an iPhone that is MagSafe compatible, uh, you'll be able to use this to not only charge your phone, but it's gonna attach to it using MagSafe. And you can, if you don't have one, if you have an iPhone or something else, you can actually get one of their cases that attaches with MagSafe so you can still use this mount. So it's not quite as uh, sticky or whatever. It's not gonna hold on to it as strong, but it's pretty close. So let's get this one open. For cable management, it says to hide the cable along the side of the trim. And so here's the difference. Here you have a MagSafe connection here. So no clamps can be a lot more lower profile. And on the back here, you have a USB-C port for actual charging. 
So if you're unfamiliar with MagSafe, you basically take it and it just clips on your phone like that. It comes with a Jawa USB-C cable that has a nice little 90 degree on the other end, which is really great for the way the Tesla ports are designed to keep them out of people's way, as well as some clips for cable management. And when we go onto their website to look at the different pricing and facts, they both come in at the exact same price of $45.95 before tax and shipping. So we'll talk about more of the facts we're in the car, but a couple of things to just remember here is this is meant to be invisible, meaning that when this is attached behind the screen, this is gonna fold away, and so you're not gonna see it unless you actually want it, in which case you'll fold it up like that and you'll be able to have access to it. The other thing is that this adhesive down here is very sticky, and if you were to take it off your car, you can just wash it and it basically makes it like new again. You could also stick it to any other flat surface like your window or something like that if you didn't want to put it onto your screen. So for the purposes of our review today, we're going to use the MagSafe version because that's the one I have. The other one will work basically the same. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do now that we're in the car is I'm going to just wipe off the back of my screen here where I'm going to be putting this. Just, you know how it is. Anytime you stick something, just take a microfiber cloth and clean that up a little bit. Then I'm going to take them out here and uh, just simply get this kind of out of the way where it's going to be. And keep in mind, you wanna put this low enough on the back of the screen that when this is all the way down and folded, that you're not gonna see this little, you know, little part sticking up a little bit. So just put it down, I would say, you know, half inch or so on the bottom of your screen. Remember, it can, it can adjust and come up quite a bit. So give yourself some space for that. And uh, let's stick it on here and see how she looks. So I'm gonna press down. And if you have a pivoting screen like me, you wanna make sure it's not hitting your dash. So make sure you have it high enough that it's not doing that. Then yeah, you would pull this over and then it essentially pulls back. So you can see, I can't see it now above it, but if I want to use it, I can just pull it up like this and I've got it there. But you got a lot of adjustments. So take it like this, pull it forward a little bit put my phone on it. And you can, of course, because it's MagSafe, any of them can be turned sideways. So if you're using Waze or whatever you got going on there, you can have it there. And if I want to, I can slide it over to the side. Of course, if it's vertical, you're gonna hit your gear stock. So you have your side adjustment as well. One thing I really like about this is I have a lot of actual movement. I can slide it all the way down there and pull it all the way up, which really gives me the flexibility that I like. And I can even put it right here between my two screens and it just really fits. As you can see here when I hold my camera that it's right in between my two screens there and I'm able to fine tune adjust it like that and I really like that. Now the last thing we have to do is test out the wireless charging ability. So if you have an older car like mine, mine's a 2019, I only have USB-A ports, then you just need a little adapter like this and then you can actually connect it to your car. It comes USB-C to USB-C, so maybe you have a hub or something um, that you, you have, which case that'll work as well. But I'm just gonna plug it into my USB-A ports just to try this out. I'm not gonna worry about tucking in the cable right now. I'll do that at another time. So the first thing I'll do is just plug in the USB-C cable. Now we have that all plugged in. I actually plugged mine for the sake of this to the back of my center console, and let's see how fast we get connection. There it is, charging. So here's what I'll say about the phone mounts in general, that if you don't like using the wireless charger down here, which is great, especially in the newer models, and you're looking for some way to hold your phone and charge your phone at the same time, this is a very good option. It's very reasonably priced. Yes, you still have to pay for shipping, but with my 5% discount that's down below in the description, you should get some help with that. And so one of the questions I get all the time is why, why even put it up there when you have the ability to put it down here? Well, a couple of reasons. For one, my pivot screen, for example, if you have one of those, a lot of people have them, it's much lower, it lowers the screen. So you can only see about a quarter of your phone. So it's quite dangerous to be dipping down like that, trying to look and see, you know, if you got a notification, you need to pull over to the side of the road to address the kid at school, nurse calling, something like that. It happens to me all the time. So I like to have it up front and center. So if I need to address something, I know. An even bigger reason would be if you use Waze to navigate or Google Maps, something outside of the actual navigation on the car, which if you're a full self-drive driver, you are you have to have it programmed in here, but you still may use this for some other thing like Waze or whatever, then it's nice to have it up there like that, to have an additional screen right there and, and do that. Now, I love how adjustable this one is because you can move it up and down. This is my favorite charger that Jawa has come out with and phone mount, I've reviewed all of them. This is my favorite one so far because of the versatility and being able to adjust it this much. So like I mentioned, if you guys are in the market for one of these and you want this, I'll put the link down below in the description as well as my discount code. And of course, let me know down in the comments if you guys have any questions. Thanks for watching this review and I'll see you guys on the next one.